Hi, my name is Sharma Kern. I have been practicing and teaching Thai massage for over 10 years. And today I want to show you the difference between Swedish massage and Thai massage. Swedish massage is mostly a Western modality and Thai massage is an Eastern modality, although it originally comes from India, not from Thailand. Swedish massage is done with oil directly on the skin and you have to be undressed whereas Thai massage is done fully dressed just like you see here no oil is used and it can be done on the floor and it mostly is done on the floor whereas Swedish massage is mostly done on a massage table the workspace of Swedish massage has to be very private because you're undressed Thai massage can be done out in the open and that's how it's done in Thailand. In most massage shops you can see what is going on. And you can do it in your living room. You fold up a blanket, uh, use a mat or on a soft carpet and you can do a Thai massage. The technique of Swedish massage is different because oil is used so it's easy to have gliding, stroking movements on the skin and kneading. Now, you cannot do that in Thai massage because you have your clothes on. So instead of these stroking movements, Thai massage uses pressure like this. And of course, Thai massage is famous for stretches. Hip stretch like this, or a hamstring stretch like that, or a back twist, like this, rocking applications, hip rocks, so many different techniques in Thai massage. The tools of Swedish massage are mostly your hands and to some degree forearms and elbows. Those tools are used in Thai massage also, but on top of that, you can use your knees and your feet. Now that sounds drastic, but I'll give you a good example when that would be used. Let's say the massage therapist weighs 100 pounds and is working on a 200 pound man, and turn over please, and is trying to do a back massage with her thumbs. Now that wouldn't work very well, like this. Imagine, she weighs a hundred pounds and her client is a gorilla. So in that case, you can use techniques like this with your elbows or your knees. Works great on big backs or even your heels. This is a heel rock on the lower back. So the opposite example would be if the therapist weighs 200 pounds and the client weighs 100 pounds. In that case, obviously, you wouldn't want to use elbows and knees and feet. It would just be overkill. So the tools in Thai massage are really there's a lot of variety of things you can do and it takes some time to learn. The philosophy of Swedish massage is based on the Western anatomical model, bones, anatomy, muscles, joints, whereas the philosophy of Thai massage is based on the Eastern model, which says there are energy lines throughout the body and you can affect those energy lines by working on them. You can change the energy flow, you can improve it, you can free up the energy flow. Now, the positions in Swedish massage are basically just two, face down and face up. In Thai massage you have those two positions, but on top of that you also use side position and sitting position. Lie on your side, please. I will show you a stretch in the side position. Okay, side stretch in Thai massage. 
if you do Swedish massage and you're in basically reasonable shape, you don't have any major problems with your feet or with your back, you can do that. In Thai massage, it's a little bit different. You have to be in pretty good shape, like face down, because you really have to move around. You have to be able to be on your knees like that. You have to be able to squat on your toes. You have to be able to sit on your heels. You have to move around the client. For example, like this. So ideally, Thai massage practitioners should do some yoga to be flexible enough to do this. So here you have some of the major differences between Swedish massage and Thai massage. I'll see you in another video. Bye.